Hey Leo, welcome to your uh, monthly tarot read for October of 2020. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Information about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, you can check out the description box below. To all my new viewers, welcome. So Leo, this is a general reading. So general, you know what that means. I'll be picking up your energies and uh, the person that you're dealing with. You gotta pick your side, okay? And that goes the same way for the cross watcher. You pick your side. Take only whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, Leo, let's get on with your reading. What do we have for Leo in love for October? Oops, what do we have for Leo in love for October? This will be for Leo. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. The Fool, beautiful. Let's see how that goes. The Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. All right. Okay. We have the Six of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. The Princess of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Okay. And the Two of Wands. All right, the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, why? The Prince of Cups, okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Are you able to see all that? Okay, let me just move this a little bit here. Is that good? Okay. All right, Leo. I have um, two types of energies here. If this is a new person that you are dealing with, you recently met, you recently connected to, um, there is an element here, Leo, of you um, waiting for this person to show more of their cards. Mm -hmm. You're kind of waiting. I feel that you are investing time, money, effort in this, in this connection to grow it, to, um, for both of you to communicate. You know, There's been some back and forth here of communication and it feels like um, <clears throat> it's probably starting slow, but it feels like it's a, it's a balanced slowness, you know, like, when you message them, they respond to you and things like that. It's slow, but it's steady. It's slow, but it's steady. And um, although, since this is a beginning of, a, you know, if this is a new person, um, possibly you are kind of waiting for, for them to show you more of their interest, of their intentions, yeah? And you're kind of hoping that this person will show you more of the emotional side to connect to you emotionally more and more. Mm -hmm. Because you have already shown them that you're kind of wanting this connection with them. You're kind of wanting more of that type of a connection. You're wanting more of a romantic connection rather than just friendship. Mm -hmm. But it feels like the person that you're dealing with is someone who is not really um, deciding right now, although they know that they have to make a decision or although th this is a person who is pretty much standing at the crossroads right now, thinking about whether are they gonna be going all in with you or perhaps there's also something um, in their past that they are still trying to close out. So th there's some reason why this person is not able to is not able to um, explicitly show you what they want as of this moment because there are some external factors. It's not because you are being put in a third party or, or things like that, but um, you're dealing with someone who wants to 
make the right decision when they are ready and as of this moment they are not mm -hmm. they are not being this um deceiving towards you I, I don't see that happening but it's more like they are not ready just yet there's no player vibe energy as well in fact this is a person who wants commitment uh, this is a person who wants um uh long-term commitment and they can also see that in you but there's something here that they need to close out it could even be their own healing just their own healing you know just to be ready for them to say okay i'm already ready for a new beginning so there's there's that element there yeah i feel you're dealing with someone with you know the integrity is pretty intact and to them it's pretty fair that they are they should be at the right space and mindset and um, space to make the decision to go forward with you when they are ready um, they only fear that um, you may not be there to wait for long because they see you you know the potential uh, to have you um, in a connection or a, in a commitment with them they can see that but um, there's something that they need to close out yeah and you may not be there for, or this is you. You may fear that um, the lack of decision from this person may cause you to lose this connection with them. Yeah, and that thought, Leo, is um, will give you uh, more insecure vibes, which you know not most Leo will have that, but in this type of connection it feels like there's something that you really want to achieve you want to get yeah you want to be possibly be in relationship with this person or you really want this person to be on on a one-on-one -on -one relationship with you or give you that commitment that you want right here right now kind of energy so until then until you get that there is an energy here of um you feeling as though they are not willing to commit to you yeah i feel that um in that approach it's rather good to i think the advice here for you it's rather more of showing your more emotional side rather than thinking about that five of pentacles energy you know that coming from the sense of lack that you are eager to be in a relationship but rather just um let it flow let the emotions flow and let this person respond to you um they will eventually respond to you it's a matter of for now there's someone here that i feel your person is neither here nor there kind of energy because there's something in the past that they need to close out now and that is for the new person okay if if you're dealing with a current connection that you have it feels like you have given another chance towards someone you've given another chance another chance to trust them if um, there was an apology that was given, um, you could have given them another chance. You've opened up to this person, yeah? Um, but it feels like uh, you are waiting, you are still waiting for this person to step up in their game. Yeah? And um, for now, even if you have started this... Uh, new journey because you you all started with a fool so this could either be a new connection that you're starting with with this person new refreshed type of connection yeah um there seemed to be an element in this person's life right now where they are within your your energy energetic field yeah around you connection is there with them but at the same time they're also kind of still open yeah or this is how you feel yeah you're probably waiting for this person to propose or to open up or to speak to speak um, their mind to you or their intention mm -hmm. why they came back why um, what is it really yeah are you coming back to build with me is that something now that you want to build on since I feel that um, there's been a lot of drama that you both have walked away in the past. You have let go in the past. Yeah. So now, when you open up 
another chance for this person to be in your life again. You're waiting for them to show you more. Mm -hmm. You feel that you have it all. <laughs> so why is this person not deciding? Yeah. There's a similar vibe here of that new person, but in this case, it's more like um, the person that you are connecting with right now is kind of lost in their life. There is that um, element there that they are lost in their life. They don't know where they're heading or what they want in their life. Um, they're still finding themselves, something like that. For some, this could also be that your person has just closed out the personal cycle. You know, that's a Saturn seven-year cycle, so to speak. That they may have been stuck in a situation for years. And um, now they have been given this new ticket to life to start anew. Yeah. The, let's say, the second century or uh, the second decade or the third decade in their life. So there seem to be some milestone that has been reached here. And um, your person is really focused on stability, yeah? This is someone who's hoping that this could likely be a situation where they could land in softly with you. And they appreciate the fact that you opened up and um, gave them this chance to be with you again, to, to be in your space. Um, but at the same time, they are also kind of still sorting out a closure of a cycle uh, and in starting up a new cycle and definitely you are in their mind yeah it seems like it seems like you are in this person's mind in terms of them if they think about stability long-term stability long-term relationship you are in this person's mind but at the same time the seven of ones energy is very telling that um, you may feel that this person is still closed off, yeah? And that sense of um, like strong boundaries doesn't really appear to you as someone who wants to build with you. Mm -hmm. Hence, you're still feeling as though, you know, they came back, they may even have um, just asked for help financially for some. You may feel that way. Mm -hmm. Their intentions are pretty not really clear to you, but the way I see it here is that their dark cycles in their life is closing out. Um, and to them, to start this uh, another cycle in their life, they have you in mind. But it's just very slow. This person, the way this person moves, the way this person strategizes with their life, or to go through with their life, there's slowness in their move. Yeah, it could also be that um, the decisions that they need to make is not within their, all, not all decisions are within their power. So when I say closing out a cycle, for instance, they have gotten divorced. And of course, you need to wait for the papers and wait for the signatures and all that are not within their um, control, right? given the current situation with all this COVID thing, the processing and all, it takes a while. So this person needs to wait. But until then, they are still stuck in that limbo kind of energy, neither here nor there. But once they are fulfilled in that cycle, fulfilled in, in that closure, they have you in mind. Yeah, they want this long term with you, this commitment with you. And I feel that, like I said, um, either way, new or old person, it may feel like um, you're losing uh, sight to the long term. Yeah, because what you see now is the um, lack of clarity in, in their intention or the slowness of their action. And that would make you feel like you know this is going nowhere um or they don't love you enough or they don't have good intentions towards you or they are not interested as much yeah to build things with you but we have the um emperor here 
So this is expansion. Yeah. And here, Prince of Cups, it's more of um, more of saying that approach to this um, situation more from the from the heart instead of logically seeing things. Um, you're being called here to give more kindness and compassion and understanding in the situation rather than the analytical and um, logical mind. Yeah? Because some things are, are rolling, some things are moving, may not be in the same pace as you want, but soon enough, here we have the Eight of Wands, and I feel that this is what's coming. Yeah? Once... Um, the first wand is thrown. This energy here of the two of wands of being neither here nor there. Yeah. Once um, this is closed out. And, you know, uh, once the car key is turned and um, the engine is engaged, it will just go smoothly. For now, it appears slow. But once there's that trigger... Things will just fall in place and this king of pentacles energy will pop up you will feel that mm -hmm. you will feel this commitment their entire intention towards you and then the action that follows that intention as well okay that's what i see for you i'm gonna leave it at that and um don't forget to hit like and subscribe yeah and let me know in the comment section below how this resonates. If it doesn't, you can check out your other placements and you can check out my other readings um, in the channel. I do have weekly and monthly readings. You can also click on the notification bell because I do um, go live for weekends or whenever I have extra time. So you will be notified whenever I go live and you can join me live. Okay. If this is very Potways, thank you for stopping by.